Hello YouTube, what's up everybody? This is the Apple Hacker 101 with the Packager Repo Source. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, the Apple Hacker 101. So let's get started. Today I'll be showing you guys how to install mod system strings, meaning that you can change your slide tone lock, your power off, your cancel, everything like that. So to do this, it's very simple. You're just gonna need to install a couple things. If you don't wanna use SSH to do this, you can do that using iFile. There's another video on that under this channel. Check that one out if you have iFile installed. But this is for those of you who don't have iFile and need to SSH. Okay, you're gonna need to install a couple things off Cydia. But before we do anything off Cydia, you're gonna need to add a new source to your iPod, such as your iPhone. You're gonna go to manage sources ed add you're gonna add the packager repo sources in the about this video the packager repo one once you install it you're gonna get something like that if you don't have the icons go to repo icon install that and you will get the icons now you can either just tap on the source and you should see something called modify system strings open that up and install it okay so let me install that really quick. Okay. And now you're gonna hit on confirm. It's a very small download. Okay. Once you finish downloading modify system strings, you're gonna need to also download Winterboard and open SSH. Okay guys. You need to download those three things. By the way, the name of those things that you need to download is in the about this video in case you did you guys did not get that. And that's open SSH, Winterboard, and Modify System Strings. To get, the, to get the modified system strings, you do need to add our repo. Okay. So once you're done with that, you're gonna go home. And I recommend also installing S and B settings in case you don't have SSH on all the time because it does make you lose your battery much quicker. So now you can go back to the home screen. Once you get to the home screen, you should get a new icon called Winterboard. And if you install SMB settings to enable SSH on and off, if you just slide your finger on the bar above, you can enable SSH right there. I just enabled it. So now we're gonna head on over to the computer. If you're on a Mac or PC, um, if you're on a Mac, you're going to need Cyberduck for this, and if you're on a PC, you're going to need WinSCP. Download links to those in the about this video. Okay, so now you're going to open up a new connection, and you're going to make it SFTP, that's SSH File Transfer Protocol. Then server is going to be the IP address of your iPod Touch. If you installed SMB settings like I told you to, right there where it says Wi-Fi address, that's your IP address. So mine is 92.168.2.2. Then for username, you're gonna use root and password is Apple Pine. Again, that's Apple Pine. By the way, all the names of those things are in the about this video in case you did not get them. Once you get onto there, you're gonna be in private bar root. You're gonna wanna go to just slash to the main root of your iPod touch. You're just gonna click up or you can just come all the way to just the slash. Once you're on here, you're gonna go to library, themes, and then you're going to see a new folder in here and in Winterboard if you open it called system strings right there. As you can see it, just opened up Winterboard really quick to show you that. System strings, so now you're just gonna look for it. Right here it is. And you're just going to put this on your desktop. Okay. Wait for it to pass to your desktop. It shouldn't take that long. It's a very small file. Okay. It's loading up. Okay. Now you're going to open up the folder. And as you can see, it's got another folder called folders. Don't mess around with that. Just leave it the same names. Open up that folder. It's got something called Springboard. It might be a folder if you're on Windows. If it's if you're on a, a Mac, it looks like a an app so you're just going to right click on it and click show package contents and then it's going to have all the languages and you're going to go into English 
depending on which language you use. You can use all these languages. You can use Spanish, Chinese, Dutch, a bunch of them, French. Okay, so we're gonna go into English, and then it's gonna have a, something called Springboard Strings. You can open this up with um, your notepad. Let me open that up really quick with my notepad. Down here to, well, on an, uh, if you're on a, on a PC, it's with notepad. If you're on a Mac, it's with text edit. Okay, and where it says away lock label, that's actually your, when you go into your lock screen to slide to unlock, that's what you put for the away lock label. So for example, I'm going to write the, no, actually, I'm gonna write packager repo, right? And all of the rest, you can just change them, like slide to answer, that means when you get a phone call, you answer that. Slide to cancel, you can change it to um, cancel me already, or anything you really want. And then when you wanna save it, you just close it and click save, okay? So now you're gonna close out out of all these folders and you're gonna drag the folder back in and replace it, okay? Should ask you to overwrite it, click continue. Now remove it. Now you can close out SSH. You're pretty much done with the SSH itself, so I'm gonna turn that off. And now in, you're gonna open up Winterboard, you're gonna tap on system settings, enable it, go back home, gonna respring so let's just wait for that to finish and I have to open this up again you guys so give me a second you're done with a uh, SSH or you can close out cyberduck or when SCP just give me a second you guys my iPod touch is respringing again this also works on the iPhone so don't worry about it Let's just wait for this to finish. Shouldn't take that long to respring, you guys. It's just like a normal respring. Okay. It's back on now. Let me just enable this really quick. Okay. Now you should have gotten it on your lock screen, you guys. Sorry about the wait. And there you go, you guys. As you can see, it says package your repo. And if you, I, I also change, I didn't change anything else, but if you change anything else, it does show up. Again, it has to go in those parentheses. So make sure you write it in, in the correct spot. If it does not show up, try again. You might have written it in the incorrect spot. Um, let's open this up again. Um, once you're done, you can delete this off your computer so you don't need to worry about the folder. You can just throw that into your trash because it's on your iPod Touch. So, hey guys, this has been the Apple Hacker 101 on how to change your system strings using iPod Touch or iPhone using SSH, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any problems, send me a message or leave a comment on this channel. Or you can contact me, the Apple Hacker 101, on YouTube. Um, again, my link to my YouTube channel is in the about this video if you guys are willing to go subscribe to it. Go check that out. So yeah, guys, been the Apple Hacker 101. Hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Peace, you guys.